it's what's what's my channel name <laughs> welcome back to let's vlog and cook it is time to cook a dish with tish come on in come on in come on in yep fish is on the menu again today but I'm, i got a special special treat for you guys today and i'm super excited about this dish because mm, it's something that i have never done before ever in my life and i'm gonna do it right here on live with you guys as soon as y'all come on in i just need y'all to come on in come on in and when you come in thumbs up the video tap the notification bell next to it leave me a comment in the comment section share me out and all of that and all of that and um even if nobody comes in here while i'm live i'm still gonna carry on how about that yeah mm -hmm. sure i am but um what am i cooking today mm. so i am cooking some stuffed fish i got some tilapia here that i've already cleaned and everything like that and then i have some shrimp here that i cut up these were the large shrimp but i just cut them up into small pieces i think i need to cut it a little bit more i think yeah that's what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut them into smaller pieces um i'm also going to make some scallops and um i'm gonna stuff the the tilapia with spinach the spinach the shrimp and mashed potatoes usually people use i think it's cream cheese when they stuff their their um fish or chicken or whatever the case may be i had looked up on youtube a bunch of different recipes on how to do stuffed fish and stuffed chicken and most of the people that I saw on YouTube making this dish, they use cream cheese. And so I wanted to do something a little different. So I was like, you know what? What can I use in my stuffing outside of cream cheese that is going to still give it like a hearty, meaty filling? And so I came up with the idea of using mashed potatoes. And I also looked on YouTube to find, I looked on YouTube trying to find if someone else had done this recipe before and I couldn't find it. So maybe I'm the first, maybe I'm the first, we going to see. So right now I'm just cutting up my shrimp into smaller pieces because I feel like the chunks wasn't small enough. And whatever the case may be all right so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna season my fish i haven't had tilapia in a very very long time i used to eat tilapia a lot but then you know it started getting so much bad reviews because apparently it's a farm raised fish or something like that and um so because of that I had stopped eating it and I didn't eat it for a very long time but every once in a while I will eat some tilapia every once in a blue moon I just feel like when they say that things aren't good for you it's all about moderation you know if you eat the food in moderation and you're not like overdoing it I think you'll you'll be just fine that's my opinion come on in and hit the thumbs up when you come in, I'm going to go ahead and season my tilapia. First, I'm going to season it with some onion powder. Let's go ahead and season it with some onion powder. <clears throat> and honestly, there's no limit to how much onion powder you want to put on your fish or any other meat for that matter. Because onion powder don't have salt in it, just like garlic powder. To me, garlic powder and onion powder... Tastes very, very similar. So, when I don't have garlic powder, I will use onion powder in the place. But if I have both, I'm using both. So, 
I will be using onion powder and garlic powder on this fish today. I'm just seasoning the other side now. Okay, how's everybody doing today? How's everybody doing today? So, I'm so mad because I went out to the store. Now I'm using some garlic powder. Lots and lots of garlic because I love me some garlic. But I went out to the store to buy all this food so that I can make this video for you guys. And I forgot to get toothpicks. So I'm really going to be winging it today with cooking these, making these stuffed, the stuffed tilapia without the toothpicks. I did see somebody on YouTube making this recipe without toothpicks, so I know it could be done, but I'll be wanting to do things down to the T with certain situations, with certain certain things. When I say down to the T, um, and when I say, as a matter of fact, when I say with certain situations, I mean, as far as ingredients, I never do the ingredients down to the T. I always add my own little spin on it or whatever. But when I'm doing something like where you have to use like certain um, tools or whatever the case may be, I would have liked to have had the toothpicks, but I didn't feel like going back outside to get the toothpicks. So we're just going to hope and pray that this come out right, okay? So right now what I'm putting on my fish is the Creole seasoning. I'm going to season both sides of it. Can y'all thumbs up this video, please? Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. So I'm seasoning both sides of the fish with the Creole seasoning. And I'm super, I'm so excited about making this because I love trying new dishes and I love trying new dishes on this daggone camera with y'all for some reason. <laughs> hey, Mike, I see you in the chat. Ooh, excuse me. <coughs> Ooh, this spice is right up in my table. Ooh, hold up. Spice went right into my daggone mouth, straight in my throat. It feel like, damn. Whew. But yeah, as I was saying, I like trying new dishes, <clears throat> and I like trying them while I'm on live. Mm. Mm. Should change your channel to cooker. Cook a fish with Tish. <laughs> um, so I got my um tilapia season. All right. Tilapia is seasoned. Next, I'm just going to sit the tilapia to the side. And I'm going to let the spices marinate inside my tilapia. Let those marinate. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to season my shrimp. Let's go ahead and season the shrimp up. And I'm using the same spices that I used on the fish. Starting it out with my Creole seasoning. I know I have been making fish a lot lately, and that, that's only because <coughs> excuse me. I'm doing a 30-day fast from um like poultry and beef. I'm only eating seafood and vegetables for 30 days. And yesterday was a week that I started. <clears throat> Yesterday, a week a week ago yesterday is when I started. So this is onion powder. Let's get our garlic powder. 
lots and lots of garlic powder because I love me some garlic. Yes, I love it. I love it. <clears throat> Did I, put, I don't think I put black pepper on the fish. No, I didn't. A little black pepper. I forgot all about the black pepper. Yo. Let me add some black pepper on my fish, y'all. Gotta add the black pepper now. Hold up, let me add my black pepper. Mm. Oh, excuse me. You said I need to learn how to fish? <laughs> that would be nice to learn. It would be nice to learn how to fish. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. All right, so let's add some black pepper. I forgot all about the black pepper. <clears throat> A little black pepper. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, one thing about these spices, they get up inside your throat and your nose and all that. They will have you choking like you done swallow the daggone bone or something. A fish bone. <clears throat> okay. So, that's done. I'm going to sit that off to the side. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and cook my shrimp. <clears throat> Let's get our shrimp. Let's get the shrimp together. Let's get the shrimp. Let's get the shrimp. We're going to do our shrimp and, um, yeah, be getting it all together. Oh, did I tell you I had chopped up some onions? I got some fresh garlic and I also have some parsley here. Oh, I meant to, I gotta, I'm going to put some um, fresh squeezed lemon on my fish also, but I'm going to do that when it's in the pan, y'all. It's going to be, oh, so delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start off with a little butter inside this pan for the shrimp. And I have the fire on like a medium heat. It's on a medium heat, y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Got to clean as you go. Got to clean as you go, okay? Mm. So I got the oven preheated, preheating my pan is heating up with my, with the butter in it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm going to need it for my scallops. I'm going to need it for my scallops. Scallops, scallops, scallops. Right, so let's go ahead and put our shrimp inside of the pan. And I'm only going to cook the shrimp inside of this pan for about a good two minutes. 
If that, it might not even be that long. It might not even be that long. Clean as we go. You wash this cutting board off. Real quickity quick, quick, quick. <clears throat> I was gonna fry the fish, but I don't have a deep fryer, so I can't fry the fish. So I have to do it a different way. You guys will see how I'm gonna do this in a few minutes. In just a few minutes. <clears throat> so the shrimp is cooking. For about two minutes. Maybe a little longer until they get done. You know, shrimp don't take long to cook. Here's my shrimp that's on, on one side. Let me turn it over. Mm -hmm. I'm going to crank up the heat on the shrimp a little bit. And then after I finish with the shrimp, I'm going to um, make my spinach. This is my parsley. Let me put my parsley off to the side. <clears throat> I swear, y'all, I think that I was a chef in my last life, if I had a last life. <laughs> if I had a life before this one, I was definitely a chef, y'all. Like, for real. <clears throat> I was definitely cooking somewhere or doing something. Ain't no way. I just like to cook like this. Ain't no way. Shrimp is coming along. They need to cook for a little bit longer so they get pink. So they get a little pink and they pink, pink. Pink and they ain't pink. A little pink it ain't think. A little pink it ain't think. That broccoli ruined the meal. What broccoli? You fancy shrimp and fish may as well add some ca caviar and lobster. Guess what else I got? I have some scallops. I'm going to make some scallops too. Yep, sure is. I am going to make some scallops along with this meal today. Let me go ahead and cut this <clears throat> lemon. Let's cut this lemon. Lemony, lemony, lemony. Lemony, lemony. Mm-hmm. This knife is so dull, y'all. This is crazy. I have to literally take the pointy part of the knife and stick it in there so that I can get the knife through. Okay, so. So now I'm gonna take my mm, that's delicious. I'm gonna take the shrimp and put it inside of this these mashed potatoes. Put it inside of the mashed potatoes. Put some inside this one. And now I'm going to make the spinach. 
So the same, I'm gonna use that same pot, that same pan. I'm just gonna add some butter. Well, it's country, this is country crop. That's country crop. Let's put our spinach in here and let that cook down until it wilts, right? So we're gonna mix this up. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. so mixing that up together. So instead of cream cheese, like most people use for their stuffed fish and chicken, those of you that's just joining in, Instead of cream cheese, I am using, can y'all guess what I'm using? Did I say it already? Mashed potatoes. Yes, I'm using mashed potatoes as opposed to using cream cheese. I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Y'all know what I'm saying? Just a little bit different. I be trying to think outside the box sometimes and stuff. Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. Let me put my scallops on the side. Let me wash this bowl real quick and quick quick. Can y'all please thumbs up this video? I am begging for likes. Yes, I am begging for likes. Please thumbs up this video. Thumbs it up, thumbs it up, thumbs it up. So my spinach is almost done. Let me add a tad bit of water so that it can steam really good. And it could be a little wet. I don't need it. I don't want it to be all dry looking and stuff. Um, what else is next? What do I have to do? Okay. That's a lot of what? Email. That's a lot. Oh, email me a plate. No spinach, please. Oh. <laughs> Want me to email you a plate? You want me to email you a plate? All right. So now here's the spinach. Let's put some spinach inside this one. That spinach, when I tell you that spinach wilts down to nothing, it wilts down to, I should have used that whole bundle of spinach. That's what I should have did. You know what, in fact, this one, but I'm gonna get that, the rest of the spinach out of the um, refrigerator and add some more spinach because this is not enough spinach. So we got some spinach in here. So it's this spinach with shrimp and mashed potatoes. Mix that up really good. I don't know, maybe it might be enough. Let me see. Let's have to mix it all together. Oh yeah. Because I, I, I just want to see it more than anything. I want to see it. Mix that all together. Right? I'm gonna add a little cheese in it. I did put some cheese in it before, but I'm adding some more. And this is the the four cheese Mexican blend. We have the it says fancy shredded Monterey Jack cheddar. Queso, quesadilla, and asadera cheeses. Asadera. Whatever that means. I don't know. Now we're going to mix that up. Oh, yeah, that's enough spinach. Mm -hmm. Once I mixed it all up together, and you can see it really good. Yeah, that is enough. Now, the next step. 
is for me to go ahead and stuff my fish. Now, I forgot to buy some toothpicks. So, y'all bear with me now. Y'all bear with me. We're just gonna, we gonna see how this gonna work out. We gonna work this out, y'all. We gonna work it out. Y'all know I always come through. <sighs> y'all know. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. So I got my pan, my pan on heating up. I'm gonna add some olive oil in the pan, All right? Olive oil, letting that heat up, and while that's heating up, let's go ahead and stuff the tilapia. Let's stuff this tilapia. Let's stuff the tilapia. Okay, so when doing it, you want to put the side that looks like it's the back side face down on the plate, right? I'm gonna put that face down on the plate. Then I'm going to take my mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. With my spinach and cheese inside oh I, and I did I put a little heavy whipping cream inside of the um mashed potatoes also there's a little heavy whipping cream in here too so we're gonna put that on like so like that like tap the brown side like so like that like so like that and then take the next piece and place it on top so the inside of the fish is going to go on top I want to make sure that it's matching. Yeah. So that's how that looks. I feel like I need to put more stuffing inside of it, y'all. Let me put more. I'm going to put more. Put a little more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit more. 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 So that's how that look, right? My oil is back there heating up. I'm gonna cook, do one at a time. Put a little cup of onions. Cup of onion. Turn the fire down. Fresh garlic. Cause I love me some garlic. Fresh garlic. Fresh garlic. So this is what the inside of the pan is looking like. All right? Let's let that saute. I'm just gonna saute that for a couple of seconds. Couple of seconds. Now, I'm going to squeeze some of this lemon juice on top of my fish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and put our fish in the pan. the next piece making sure that the inside is face up the back side is face down we got our stuffing 
and all that and all that Ooh, I can't wait till this is done and I take the thumbnail picture I'm def definitely gonna change the, change the thumbnail picture on this video the last two pictures I didn't change the thumbnail and it was my intentions on changing it but it just didn't work out that way it just didn't work out that way Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Lemon juice. Okay. Ooh. 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 Everybody say yum, yum. Say yum, yum. Eat them up. Right. Ooh, flip that baby over. Don't make me over. Ooh, now that I know how I adore you. Don't make me over. Don't make me over. Put a little olive oil inside this pan. Let's pipe that up a little bit. Let's pipe that up just a little bit. Okay. We're gonna take our fish and put it in this pan because this is going in the oven. I just wanted to pan sear it a little bit. Just a little bit. Then we're gonna take this next piece and put it in the pan. Ooh. Ooh. Everybody say yum yum. Say yum yum. Eat them up. Say yum yum. Say yum yum. Eat them up. Let's turn it up a little bit more. Turn that fire up a little bit more. Just a little bit more, y'all. Just a little bit. Just a little. Just a touch of loving. A little bit. I get so happy when I'm cooking, y'all. Like, I feel like I'm just, like, all the way in my element when I'm cooking, y'all. It's just, like, a wonderful, wonderful feeling and experience okay so this is gonna go like it is now i'm gonna put that that piece is too small for this one i'm trying to make sure the sizes of the fish match up y'all feel me Lemon juice. Can't forget about the lemon juice. Ooh. Ooh. Everybody say yum, yum. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all know what? I should have made like a little, put it like a little breading on it. I should have put a breading on it. Oh, I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. I should have done a breading, y'all. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyway. Eating is a wonderful feeling more than cooking. You know what? I have to say that it's kind of equal for me you know what i'm saying i get pleasure out of both eating and cooking like it's like equal like i can't even separate the two you feel me i can't separate the two mm -hmm. mm. 
That's good. That's good. So this bowl right here is separate because I made this batch for my son because he don't eat cheese. He don't eat cheese, so I had to make a separate batch for him. Let's add some more of these onions in here. Let's put this next piece of fish. Right? Let's stuff the last one. Let's see what let's see what's happening here. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that open side. And the great thing about the that bowl of mashed potatoes that I made, it can be eaten with the meal as a side dish too. The leftover mashed potatoes. Eaten as a side dish. Y'all know what I'm saying? That's the wonderful part about that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Y'all thumbs up this video, please. I see y'all coming into the building. Don't be scared. Just step out real quick. Thumbs up the video and come on back. It don't cost you nothing but a couple of seconds. It don't cost you nothing to give this video a thumbs up. That way, my video can be shared out to the YouTube streets. Through the YouTube algorithm. Y'all feel me? Don't be stingy with the likes. Come on now. Yeah, I'm begging for likes. I am begging for likes. All right. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Ooh. Ooh. Jesus. I'm going to sprinkle a little parsley on top. Mm -hmm. A little couple of pieces of parsley on top of this baby. Oh, yeah. This is some Italian parsley. I don't know what the difference is in the taste, but I bought it because that's what they had. Like, don't give me the line about the difference in the taste versus, you know, regular parsley versus um, Italian parsley. Because I have no earthly idea. Okay? None whatsoever. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. Now, I need to put a little more olive oil in here, right? Some more onions, some more fresh garlic, right? Take some of this fresh garlic and put it on top of the fish before I put it in the oven. Before I put it in the oven, you feel me? Now, let's pop it in the oven. Let's pop it in the oven. Yeah. 
And this last piece of fish. Mm-hmm. You want to wash that plate. And that last piece is going to get cooked in this lovely old pan by itself, honey. All by, all by myself. All by myself. Yeah. Then I'm going to make my scallops while my fish is in the oven doing what it do. You feel me? Um, that's that. Okay. A little olive oil in here. Just a little something, something. Let's wash this paint, this plate out in the sink. I'm not trying to have no dishes when I'm done, y'all. Mm-mm. Everything needs to be cooked, I mean, cleaned and put away. Cooked, cleaned, and put away. Yep. I like the first time. Cooked, cleaned, and everything should be put away. A little bit. Ooh. I did pretty good without the toothpicks. I was a little worried. Because I don't have any toothpicks to put on my, um, to stick inside of that fish to make sure it stays stuck together, but it worked out pretty good. Worked out just fine. Just fine. Mm-hmm. Can't be eating, eating at all with that spinach in it. You can't. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna need you to expand your palate, Michael. Open up your mind to vegetables. Like seriously, vegetables are good for you, bro. Vegetables are good for you. And they taste delicious. All right, so this is gonna go into the oven. I need to wash this pan. This is going in the oven. All right, so the oven is on. Let me wash this pan out really quick so that I can make my scallops while my fish is cooking. Okay. What time is it? What time is it? Three. Oh, two thirty. It's early. It is early. I wanted to get this dinner done early and out the way. That way, I can enjoy the rest of my evening, and I have to worry about doing this. Mm -hmm. Yep. I wanted to get it all out of the way early today, y'all. Some of y'all probably still at work. Some of you guys are probably still at work. Okay, so for the scallops, this is my first time making scallops too, y'all. Don't judge me. So, this isn't my first time making tilapia. It's just my first time cooking it this way. I've never made tilapia like this before. So, this should be interesting to say the least. I can't wait to see how it turns out. <laughs> But for the scallops, I'm going to do a, um, a garlic, a lemon garlic flavor scallop. 
lemon and garlic. How many of you guys in the chat had scallops before? How many of you in the comment section that's going to be looking at this video once the live is over have had scallops before? Um, also, how many of you have ever cooked scallops before? Let me know in the comment section below. If you cooked scallops before, if you've eaten it, do you like it? What do they taste like to you? Let me know. Let's chop it up. Let's chop it up in the comment section below. All right, so let's put this back on the fire and get these garlic, butter, scallops popping. Let's get it popping, baby. Yeah, I was getting ready to say... Um, Drop some bells and palm trees in the chat. I I I be forgetting that this is not that other channel anymore. This is let's vlog and cook. This let's vlog and cook. Oh, I forgot to put some parsley flakes and fresh garlic on that last piece of um fish before I put it in the oven. But it's all good. It's really just, just for the look anyway, as far as the parsley is concerned. All for a look. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm -mm. I wanna thank you, Heavenly Father. For shining your light on me. Alright, so let's get these scallops done. How many have ever seen scallops before? Don't be eating it. Eating at all with that spinach in there. <laughs> so these are the scallops. Alright. I've already cleaned them before. I put them in the bowl before we came on the live. So today I, I did, I um, I took this, the smart, easy way to doing this cooking live today. I pretty much prepped everything and um, cleaned everything before I got on camera so that this video won't be too, too long. So I got some black pepper. A little black pepper. Um, some garlic powder. Lots of garlic powder, because this is lemon garlic flavor scallops. I'm gonna also add some onion powder. And a dash of salt. Just a dash of salt. That's it. Just a dash. Just a dash. Just a dash. So it's lemon butter garlic flavor scallops. Scallops. So we got our butter. Well, country crop. Let's turn that down. Let's turn that down, down, down. Down, down, down. 
I would say about two tablespoons of butter, country crock, parquet. I can't believe it's not butter. Whatever it is that you want to use, whatever your palate has a taste for. I'm using country crock. And I'm going to add some onions. Add the rest of those onions in here. I'm going to add the rest of these, this fresh garlic. The rest of the fresh garlic. So this, these scallops, let's go ahead and marry all these ingredients together in it. Right? And I'm letting my onions and fresh garlic saute for a few minutes inside of the butter. All right. Just for a few minutes. Maybe not even a few, maybe for a few seconds, like 60 seconds. Let them do what they do. Let them do what they do, do, do. Just so they caramelize, the, the, um, so the onions caramelize a little bit, and then we can go ahead and add our scallops. I'm going to turn that fire up a little bit higher. Turn it up a little higher. Turn the fire higher. Turn the fire higher. Turn the fire, turn the fire. And we're going to put each scallop inside of the pan, one by one, right? I have never cooked scallops a day in my life. <laughs> But hey, my thing is this. Cooking is not hard. If you know how to cook one thing, you know how to cook everything. Okay? That's how I see it. That's my, that's my motto. Especially seafood. You cook one seafood, you cook them all. For real. I don't think it's rocket science. It is not rocket science, okay? So we're gonna let those cook on one side for about two minutes. And then we're gonna take them and flip them over on the other side after about two minutes. Right? Yeah, that's how we're gonna do that. That's how we're gonna do that. The that 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 the that the that. Ten more minutes on the fish, okay? Let's put about ten more minutes on the fish. On the fish. On the fish. Put this these spices back up in the cabinet. And I'm gonna after I finish doing this, I'm gonna Go ahead and flip my scallops over on the other side. Let them cook. I, I need some type of, another type of vegetable, y'all. Let me see what I got in this refrigerator. I think I got some, hmm, 
I feel like I need more vegetables on the plate, y'all. So we're gonna flip the scallops over. Let's flip them over. All right, flip them, flip them, flip them. Flip it, how you dip it? Flip it, flip it. Just flip it, flip it. Just flip them over one by one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Then we're gonna take our lemon. Squeeze the lemon juice all over it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fresh squeezed lemon. Freshly squeezed lemon. Okay. And dinner is about done. Dinner is about done, y'all. That in the sink. That there. Hi, Keith. Cook some steak after this fish month is over. Okay, I got you. I got you on the steak. I got you. I promise. I promise. I got you on the steak. The steak. The steak. All right. Let's put these scallops in here. Oh man, it's the sauce for me. It's the sauce for me. Put a couple of little pieces of parsley on top. I probably should have waited till I made my plate. I'd be so in a rush, y'all. Bear with me. They say patience is a virtue, right? I should have waited till I made my plate of food. Then sprinkled that parsley on top of them scallops. That's what I should have did, but it is what it is. I can still sprinkle some more. I can sprinkle more. I can sprinkle more. Yes, I can. Yes, I Good. <laughs> All right, let's put this plate out. But it's time to make a plate of food now, y'all. So I decided that I'm not going to make another vegetable. I'm just going to stick with the um, spinach, and that's it. I don't feel like cutting up veggies and all of that. So we got our mashed potatoes. I'm, so the tilapia is stuffed with mashed potatoes, but I'm also going to have a small portion of mashed potatoes on the side as well. Just a little bit. All right. Blah. And inside these mashed potatoes, I have um, the shrimp, spinach, and cheese. Okay? That's what's inside of the mashed potatoes. I'm going to put that inside the um, microwave to heat up. Let's see what's going on with our fish.
Put that on to the side. Wipe this counter off. Gotta clean as we go, y'all. Clean as we go. Ooh, let's check the fish. back in there for a few more minutes more. Just a few more minutes. Maybe like five more minutes. About five more minutes. <sighs> I'm so excited. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> Let me get the rest of these dishes out the sink, y'all. It's just this pan and that cutting board. And then that's it. Yep. And that is it. Okay. Microwave so it can heat up nice and hot while my fish is finishing up in the oven. Got my scallops here. Yeah. You. excited about this meal, y'all. Y'all have no idea. So excited about this meal. We got one minute left on the clock for the fish. to be all I still wanted it to be kind of like thick looking I didn't want it to smear it all over smear all over my plate mm -mm. Mm. I'm so good Holders because 
they have like the little heat protection thingy going on on them. You could just sit them on the counter and, and put your um, pot or pan on top of it. Oh my God, yeah. Ooh. 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 Man, oh man. Okay, let's put this back. Okay. Get these scallops. Now you know what? My plate, everything is just light skin. There's no color. I need some more color. Everything is just light skin. Light skin and green. There's no reds or yellows or anything like that. Mmm. I don't know. I should have put some more color in this. Like, this is not enough color. I need some red and yellow in here. Everything is just light skin. Mmm. But look at that. Look at that, y'all. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let me go ahead and give it a little taste. Thank you, for the, thank you Lord, for this food. Best thing is prepared it. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen, and amen again. Amen. Mm. Y'all want the first bite? Oh. 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 Mm. That might be too big. I'm being greedy. That's better. Mm. 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 That's pretty good. Mm. No, this is delicious, y'all. Mmm. I already had, I had already tasted the mashed potatoes, so I know what they're hitting for. This is good. Mmm. Mm hmm. Scallops. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh my God, y'all. Everything on this plate is delicious. No, I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I'm not lying. This is like, this is like five star restaurant worthy, for real. Look at that, look at that, y'all. Look at that fish. Mm. 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 Y'all need to try doing it, y'all, um, stuffed fish. Or your stuffed chicken like this. Hey, Bridget. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh, gosh. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you know how to find a meal besides Bojangles? That's funny. <laughs> and let me tell you. And it's delicious too. Like, seriously, like all jokes aside, this food tastes so good, y'all. I feel like I'm sitting down at. Hold on. In fact, let me get a chair. Mm. Hold your voice. I'll be right back.
Let me get a chair. I sit myself on them. I wasn't going to eat all this food while I was on live with y'all. But I quickly changed my mind. I can't stop, won't stop eating it. Mm -mm. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. But now I'm... I'm having second thoughts about... Changing the thumbnail picture because... Everything on this plate is light skin. And I don't know how the picture is going to look. I guess I'll just... The only one, only one way to find out. This is so good. Call this mashed potato stuffed tilapia. Those of you that just came in, guys, did I tell did I tell y'all this before? That the mashed potatoes also have shrimp in them. Spinach, shrimp, and cheese inside of the mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Spinach, shrimp, and cheese. So. It's really good. Pour some of this juice from the scallops over here on top of the fish. Ooh. Mmm. 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 Tastes so good, make me want to smack your mama. This is good stuff. Yeah. I did that. I did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's some of the um, mashed potatoes mixed in with the fish right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these scallops is delicious. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I don't have to eat anything for the rest of the day. Well, then again. Dinner time. You want to see me fried chicken in the air fryer? Okay. I got you on the steak, the fried chicken. 
I got you. I got you. Got about, what, 20, 23 more days, 20, 21 more days, something like that. Twenty three, twenty two, something, something like that. And yesterday made seven days. Today eight days. Yeah, so twenty two more days. <laughs> push, push in the bush. This is good. You know how you be full, but the food is so good you can't stop eating it. That's what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. That lemon flavor. There's something about lemon flavor, that zesty taste on your food that is just like... It, it, it's like... It just tops the meal off. It's just something. It just does something extra special for the food. And I love when you can taste every spice, every seasoning in the food. Mm. I found this new cooking show last night. And what's the name of it? It was called America's Something Kitchen. And Jeannie Ma is the host. So, one of the challenges that they had them do. And me saying that you can taste every spice in the food and you can tell what it is. This was what made me think about the show because one of the challenges was that they had to replicate a dish that was already prepared. But they had to taste it first to see, to try to see what ingredients was in it. Mm, excuse me. And um, they really wanted them to use everything that was in the dish and just, like I said, replicate it and get it exactly how it is or as close as they could get it. I said to myself, now that's a challenge. To be able to do something like that and a lot, I ain't gonna even lie, like a lot of those dishes that the people had to, that that they replicated, they actually looked just like what they had to cook. I don't know, that's all right. Like that's a whole nother level of knowing how to cook. That 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 goes beyond knowing how to cook. That means that. If you can do that, your palate is like so on point because you can literally taste everything that was put into that dish. And if you can do that, you're all right. You want a whole nother level. 
You want a whole nother level. Especially if you can do it in not have the exact measurements of the ingredients and stuff like that. And you can just kind of like season it to what you think it's supposed to taste like. And these people that's on the show, they're not really chefs. They're not like um, certified chefs, meaning they didn't go to culinary school. These are people like me that just cook in their kitchen and decided to go on the show to win. Like it's basically an interview, like a job interview. To, to, so at the end, whoever win, they're going to win a position in that particular kitchen to cook with the, the other chefs. Plus, they're going to win $100,000. And one, one, one thing about those type of shows, even if you don't win, you still get in some type of exposure. You know? People in the world are going to still know about you. They get to follow you on your social media. Like all of the people that's on there, their social media is basically about their cooking, their food. They, they post a lot of food and they do videos cooking and stuff like that. And it's, it's dope. It's a cute little show. So I've watched, I think, um, two episodes of it. Yeah. I was like, okay. Okay, Jeannie Mom. Come through with the multiple streams of income. Come through. I'm not mad at her. Come through with the multiple streams of income. That is all right. Mm, it's delicious. Y'all know this was nothing but pure greediness. I shouldn't have ate all that food like that. This was a lot of food. That was a lot of food. First of all, I had mashed potatoes on the side. Then I had mashed potatoes inside of my fish. Where you do that? I definitely got to get my workout on this evening. Mm -hmm. I got to do some sweating. I have lost three pounds, though, since I started doing the fast. I'm not just fasting from meat. Like poultry and beef. Obviously not fish, but... I'm also fasting from drinking alcohol. Let me tell y'all. The other night, last week, Wednesday, my cousin called me. And she was like, hey, what you doing tonight? And I had just got in from work and everything. She was like, me and Brianna, Brianna's her daughter, she said, we coming up that way, we're going to come out, it's open mic, they had open mic night at this little club, and um, I said, yeah, sure, I'll go. And after I agreed to it, I was saying to myself, dad. 
you just started doing your 30 day fast from no alcohol. How is this going to work? <laughs> because, you know, when you go out to a club and stuff like that, I know for me, like, I be feeling like if I'm not drinking, I'm not having a good time. So I said, well, I'm just going, you know, this would be my my test, you know, because that was that's another reason why I decided to. Well, one of the reasons why I decided to do a fast from drinking is because I don't like the feeling of thinking that I have to be tipsy or drinking or drunk or whatever in order to have a good time and engage with other people around me. Because I could be a little bit more serious when I'm not drinking. So we go to the club and um, it's a nice little vibe, nice little atmosphere and everything. And so while I'm sitting there, Y'all, I really felt out of place for a little bit. I felt out of place. Not only was I not drinking, but I didn't have anything in my hand. Everybody got a cup in their hand. You know, I was just like, ah! Right? <laughs> so, I said, you know what? I'm just going to get me a Sprite. Mm, excuse me. I'm just going to get me a Sprite and have them add a splash of grenadine. That way I look like I'm drinking or something. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to feel like I belong there. Because <laughs> I ain't even going to lie. Like at one point I was feeling like out of place. But then they started playing reggae music. And baby. Mm. You'd think I had a couple of drinks after they after I finished when that reggae music came on. You would think I had like a few drinks because when the reggae music came on, I was just vibing. I was having a good time. I was like, yeah. And it was old school reggae. So that's what made it even more fun. I was like, this is fun. I had a good time. But all that did was that made me realize that I don't have to drink in order to have a good time. It just has to be good music. You know, the energy of the people around me got to be, you know, on point, positive and upbeat. Um, and just, you know, a, a great atmosphere and a good vibe and all of that was happening. So, like I said, at the beginning, it was just like I was feeling like, Duh, you know, but after you know, they started playing the music that I like that I liked, then I started to feel like I was having a good time. And um, but then when they stopped playing that type of music, they started playing like trap music, and I was just like, Okay, this is not my era. <laughs> but the performances were good. They had, like I said, they had open mics, so they had a couple of people get up there and do poetry. And they had some people who get up there singing. And it was this one man in there doing poetry. And I was saying, I didn't see the man, but I heard him. And he sounded a damn fool. He sounded a mess. Oh, my God, y'all. It was so, I was listening to me and my cousins was like, who in the heck and who in the hell is that? Oh my God, that was crazy. He sounds so freaking stupid. It was just a mess. So my little cousin, she sings and she has a beautiful, beautiful voice. But she didn't get to sing that night because she didn't know that you have to put your name on the list like a week before you actually come out to the club. So her co-worker that invited her out that night, he told her, you know, he's going to hook her up and put her name on the list for this coming Wednesday. So this coming Wednesday, we're going to go back again. And I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait to hear her sing live. And it's a live band. It's not, excuse me, it's not like, you know, instrumental music from 
a um a CD or anything like that. This is live music. They got you know the live, the drummers, the the bass players, the guitar players, the every the whole setup, and you're singing live. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see her do that. And I I low key want to get up and sing too. I can't sing, but it's one song that when I sing it, I feel like. I be sounding so good. <laughs> Y'all know everybody got that one. Well, not everybody, but some people got that one song that they sing that make them sound like they really could sing. So the song, that song for me is um, Tamar Braxton's song. The title of it is Prettiest Girl in the World. And when I sing that song, like at karaoke and stuff like that, when I tell y'all, I be having the crowd like really into it because when I tell y'all, I be singing with my heart and my soul. I be really feeling like I'm Tamar in that moment. <laughs> ah, you said do a week eating only spinach. I'll be mad, Slim. Yeah, I'm sure I would. I could do that. That's not a problem. I could definitely do that. Yeah. Along with the workouts. But yeah, I'll be feeling like I'm Tamar when I'm singing that song. And that particular song right there, it it really, really, I really like that song because the way that she sang that song, you can tell that when she got in the studio and sang that, she felt that song with every fiber of her being because at the time when she did that song, she was with her ex-husband Vince and I think that he really did make her feel like she was the prettiest girl in the world. Like, no lie. I just think that Vince, because to me, Tamar, the Braxtons, they all kind of, you know, they're a little funny looking, you know. And I didn't think that Tony Braxton was funny looking until I seen her sisters. And she's a little funny looking too, but they cute, if that makes sense. Y'all feel what I'm saying? And, um... Especially when they first came out, baby, when they first came out with the Braxton family values, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, uh oh, tell me what you looking about these girls. But, um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna sing that song. Oh, poor Tracy. I hate that Tracy died. Now that I think about it. Hi, Nina. Welcome, welcome. I hate that Tracy died. When I found out that she had died because she was sick from cancer, that was so sad to me. Like, ugh. That's crazy. It's just amazing how we watch these people on TV and social media and stuff like that. And we watch them, you know, over the years and you start to feel like connected to them in some type of way. And because of that, when things like this happen, you really feel like you took a loss, you know, in some ways. So... She was your favorite. <clears throat> yeah, she was definitely funny. Tracy. Tracy was misunderstood. And Tracy just wanted to be heard. And you could tell, like, it's almost like. Mm, I just had a a, a, a a profound thought just came to me about. Tracy because out of all the sisters it seemed like Tracy got the least respect and before she died I would say like a few years before she died maybe like a year or maybe two years before she died she was displaying the type of strength that she never had and 
she started to realize that she had to create boundaries for herself and, you know, just like demand a certain level of respect from her sisters and whoever else didn't respect her the way that she needed to be respected. So the profound thought that I'm having is we all have a purpose for being here. But it's just, it's it's our job as individuals, as God's children, to figure out what your purpose is. And I kind of think that Tracy's purpose was fulfilled. Before she left this earth, she had to gain that respect and create those boundaries and get people to know who she really is and not just that funny, silly, goofy, um, don't fit in kind of person with her sisters. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like her purpose was to gain the respect that she needed and deserved before she left this earth. Mm. That's deep. That's deep. God the mighty. I just came to that conclusion. I just came to that conclusion. Y'all feel me? That was her purpose. And that's all right with me. I wonder if before she died, did she realize that, you know, these changes were happening and uh, obviously she knew she was transitioning or go was going to transition when she found out that she had cancer and knowing you know, what stage it was in. And, and I'm sure the doctors, you know, let her know, like, you know, what was going to happen with her as far as living or dying and stuff like that. And I just wonder, like, did she realize once um, she learned about her cancer and her dying? I wonder, like, was that the decision-making factor for her to get these people that's in her life to respect her before she left? Was that like her plan or her goal because she knew that she was gonna be leaving this earth soon? I wonder, I don't know, I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know what her destiny or what her purpose was or what her you know, what was going on spiritually with her, whatever the case may be. But I just know that we're all put here on this earth for a reason and we all have a purpose. We just have to figure out what our purpose is. It is our job, it is our duty to figure that out. It's our duty. Yeah. Anyway, I've been on here for about an hour and 40 minutes now. I did not intend on being on this live this long. So hopefully those of you that came in at the tail end of the video, you'll go back and watch it from the beginning so that you can see how I prepared the uh, recipe today. And uh, I'm tired. I feel like, oh, Lord. I got the itis. I'm about to go lay down and take a nap. <laughs> Y'all, I'm about to go take a nap for real. I'm so tired. You said, don't go stay until breakfast. <laughs> I'll be on here sleeping. You want me to stay on here and fall asleep? Yo, for real. Like, there's this guy on YouTube that does that. He goes live 
and just have his camera on the entire day, like the whole freaking day. He go to sleep with it on and everything. Like every like he he take a shower, he do everything, and the camera is on. I kid you not. I just be like, what? Yeah. I can't remember what his name is. What is that damn man name? I haven't been seeing his videos lately. But his videos used to come across my news feed all the time. But I haven't seen him lately. But this man goes live. Like, and he just be live. He just be live. Like, you gonna spend the entire 24... So, And he sleep with the light on because he wanted, the camera is, I kid y'all not, he's laying there in his bed with the light on and the camera is on him while he's sleeping. And I'm just like, wait, what? And the other crazy part about it is that, y'all, when I tell y'all this much, y'all gonna be like, but, 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 He'll have about two or three people in the chat. It's not like he got hundreds of people watching him. It's like two or three people. Like, I got more people watching me right now than he have watching his total 24. <laughs> I'll be sitting there like, yo, this dude is weird. This is weird. He probably trying to get watch time hours. I thought the same thing. But no, because... Then again, it, it, he could be trying to get watch time hours because I do know that I, what I was going to say is I thought the same thing, but I recanted that thought because he has commercials on his uh, videos, but I need to backtrack on that too, because before this channel got monetized, commercials was on this on my videos too and I was like oh you two think they slip they gonna get their little money okay they put throwing commercials up on my dad going videos and I ain't even got no dad going I'm not even monetized I thought that was like really shady and crazy but um he could be that could be that's definitely a possibility well baby that's too much that's too much y'all I gotta get out of here because I'm sleepy I really need to take me a nap, y'all. If I stay on here any longer, I'm going to be like this. And my head going to hit the counter. And y'all don't want to see me fall asleep and my head hitting the counter. Boom! Then that'll be a disaster. That'll be a disaster. This will be, this live returns to something totally different. It'll be a whole different type of live. <laughs> Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me this afternoon and all of that. <sighs> Watch the replay if you haven't, if you, if you wasn't here from the beginning. I appreciate each and every one of you. Try this recipe that I just made today that then gave me the itis and all of that good stuff. So, thank you. You have a great day too. Everybody enjoy. Who who um retracted the message? That wasn't even a bad message. I don't even have any moderators in here. Like, who took your message away? All you said was have a great day. That's weird. But anyway, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all evening. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Deuces. Peace. See y'all later.